All right, it is the last day of this playthrough. It is April 9, midnight. And again, I will be releasing this map so you can download it and see the world that I've explored and built. And I lost another arrow. Man, so not worth it, even with steel arrows. Now, what was it gonna do with this? Oh, we still have that hefty onion stew. And put this like so. And we'll light this up. Oh, bring the scythe with us. Just to make it easier to harvest. Another thing I probably should do with the next playthrough is if I locate meteoric iron, I should like immediately harvest it once I get the iron going. That way I can take advantage of its uh, stuff, its speed and its durability instead of just relying on iron. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. And this scythe really is annoying. Should not be doing this. Probably should make this uh, cattail section sooner as well. Okay, now that I have more of these cattails, I'll be able to uh, get more skeps going. Come on. Now, I really would like this scythe to be fixed. I mean, it's low priority, doesn't break the game. Uh, I remember one version that the scythe actually ended up crashing the game. So I'm glad they fixed that, but it doesn't crash the game anymore, but it's still annoying to work with. I need to make sure I pick up all of these cattails. Alright, let's finish this off. Okay, so we got two full stacks, almost a third full stack. Okay, let's head back. There's a section of cattails near the blacksmithing workshop. Going there anyway to pick up some clay. Still have lots of blue clay.
Okay, I think this is ready now. This has been ready for a long time. This is ready to go. This is still growing. The K is at 0%, so it's growing at 10%. But, you know, let's put down some more skeps. One stack of this is, should be all we need. Oh, we already harvested these. Now, were there cattails over here? So I'll go collect them. Or you want to use a knife? this now all of this and you know what we haven't actually finished mining out this blue clay deposit this is the first one that we found in this game and I don't think it's halfway done like there's still a lot of clay here Alright, so let's go and make those skeps. Oh, we actually don't have much room here. You know, probably should empty our inventory first. Okay, let's get rid of... We need to get rid of this hammer. Here's some grass. Uh, we have four arrows left. That was stupid. Okay, we'll bring this with us and then we'll dump the lump of fat in our blacksmithing workshop. Okay, the rawhide can go here. Oh, we still have these horsetail poultices, except we have no room for them. Why is there... Why do we have five wooden buckets in here? Was that there this entire time? Wow, that was weird. Okay, um... Let's just put it like this. And then we'll put these peat bricks down here. And we do need to eat. Oh, I'll just leave them there for now. Let's see what else. Oh, got more peat here. I guess we can put this... Or, you know what, let's just make another... Uh, one of these. I think it's 14 peat blocks. That's enough to... burn this entire stack. And then we'll put away stuff blacksmithing workshop again this is the last day this is april 9 1387 last day of this let's play i probably should throw away the scythe but we can't store it here there's another scythe there anyway so let's put this back try to get as many slots as we can 
There we go. And I'm gonna eat these berries because I'm hungry. Okay, the bread still lasts for 9.2 days, so not worried about that. All right, so let's start making these. Okay, let's make one more stack of cattails first. Okay, then we'll start planting these down. not going to see these become harvestable. But maybe you will. Those of you who want the map, if you download it, you'll probably be able to find it. Okay, we will keep these two beehives in the middle, just so they can all swarm. Oh, come on. Scap here, scap here. Or you know what, let's just do this. Why not? Burn that last scap. Okay, so we have one populated scap. And they'll be able to swarm. We have a bunch of honeycombs. Let's deal with this now. Okay, where's our bucket with the honey? Wait a minute. I thought I still had milk. Like, I was looking at the tool tips and I was like, okay, I saw the 9.5 hours and I was like, oh shit, I have milk in here, but no, I didn't. So, anyway. Let's go get some beeswax. I also take these old honeycombs that I found underground. Because obviously this is still good. Now I did say... I was going to finish the roof on the windmill, so I'd better get on that. Okay, that should be all of it. 32.75 liters of honey. There's a lot of honey.
Now all of these spaces, all of this food is still good for a very long time except for the fresh fruits in here. Fresh fruits and vegetables. Like this, these carrots will still last for 22 days, but we do have lots of soybeans. It'll last for 9.1 years. Like these turnips are about to expire in 15.5 days and this cabbage like we actually grew cabbage and we didn't eat it. I don't feel like eating it anymore. And still have lots of flour in here. And a lot of these vessels weren't even used. Well, they were used earlier for my inventory back when I didn't have these storage chests. Anyway, got beeswax now. Lots of beeswax. Now I do have beeswax in here, I think. Yeah, so we have beeswax in two locations. Now what I want to do is get these blue fire clay shingles. I'm going to make some more roofing if we need to. Now we're getting low on grain, so we're gonna eat the bread. I need to get my cobblestone. Shale cobblestone slabs. We'll take all of them. And... What about the stairs? Blue shingle slabs. Blue shingle stairs. We'll take that. We are going to finish this windmill. Like it functions okay. But it doesn't have a roof, so we need to fix that. Now, this lower windmill sail is going faster than this top one because this lower sails is connected over here on its side, while the top one is connected at the top. That's why it's acting like that. And at this point, I can't really fix it because if I put a large gear here, then it's going to block this area here. I won't be able to get up here again. And here I put a copper lantern. So let's go finish this. Now shield slabs need to be placed vertically. And again, I still don't like this placement method of having to craft the different placement modes. Like I would like to be able to press F like I can do with the hammer and with the, uh, what's it called? With uh, clay placing or clay forming. But that's not too important. So if they don't end up doing that, then whatever. Uh, in fact, I should look at this. I mean, look at my base, three farms, there's the beehive, there's a cementation furnace, there's the blacksmithing warehouse, where, where, warehouse, blacksmithing workshop, there's my house, there's the greenhouse, there's the animal pen, and there's a trader in the bushes, and there is my path. Oh my god, look at that. And then what else can I see from here? hard to see anything. Well, there's a path going that direction that I never finished. But damn, look at that. This looks so nice. And look at that. Oh. Want to make another one of those. What? Hey! You said you could do that. Okay, so I have to remember how to place this again. Now I have to be very careful 
Not to kill myself. Easier said than done. I really have to do do it like that. Oh, what? Oh, come on. This is really annoying. Like there needs to be some kind of placement grid before you place it down. Like that would be useful and is it would avoid a lot of problems with placement of these things. Okay, did that happen because I was strafing? Let me try that again. Uh, it's not working. Hmm. Like, that's not going to work, is it? It's never going to fix things. Okay, it has to be because I'm strafing. What? I don't understand you, game. Okay, let's put the stairs now. And I'll just pick up those blocks later on. Oh, what the hell? Just do it like this. No. Ah, oh, come on, come on, come on. We can do this. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now let's do the other side. Oh, come on, really? Like, there's... Definitely has to be a better way than this. And then we put the shale slabs over here. Or we'll do it. Wait, not the cobblestone. What we need is those shingles yeah horizontal shingles place you here 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 drop down place you here nice oh we should get some glass in here uh oh Oh no. Oh no. Fucking hell. How do we place it in close positions? Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Okay, let's put this vertically. And that doesn't work. Obviously doesn't work. What if we did this? There. Okay. 
And we can pretty much just leave it like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go get some glass. Oh, let's collect all of these blocks while we're here. Oh, those are extinguished torches, so never mind. Let's go and get our glass from here. And let's head back up. You know what, let's also cut a hole here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. How are we going to install the glass? Wait. Wait, I got it. I got it. I think. I think. No. I don't got it. Like, what the hell? Like, I can't install this in close positions. At all. What the hell? The hell are you doing to me, game? I want to put in windows. I guess the roof is on here, but I want to put in windows. Wait, I heard something. I'm I'm pressing shift and I'm right clicking. I'm hearing something in game. Okay, I'm confused. But anyway, let me hang this. Let me hang this like you know let's put this over here yeah let's do that and then we'll put the copper lantern like so and there we go we have a windmill I'm not going to install the windows anymore. It's like too much of hassle unless I build unless I ladder up and then build it from the outside. It is too much of a hassle. So I just won't do that. <laughs> 